What's going on guys, Patrick here with Drone Nerds. Today, I'm checking out the DJI goggles. You saw the video of me unboxing the goggles. Well, now we're here to actually use them and fly them. All right, so I turned the goggles on, I have my Mavic set up, and I have live view already on the goggles, so I can see everything that the Mavic is seeing. And here on the side, I have options. So on the phone, you'd have all your information. Well, you have that also inside the screen. So by swiping here on the right or left, I can actually change from photo mode, video mode, and then if I click, I can take a photo. So you heard the photo there pretty cool and then swiping again if I click again now I'm recording so I can actually set up the recording there on the Mavic on the goggles so I can actually just use the goggles here if I don't have my phone or if I want to just record through that or if somebody else is using the goggles looking at what's going on I also still have my picture on my phone so if I am not using the goggles I can see everything on my phone just like normal if you want to fly the drone then you want to have your friend using the goggles to kind of look around and get an idea you can do it that way there's a couple different modes as well that i can get into so if i put my two fingers here on the side and swipe down i get into the different modes six different modes i have a full screen mode which is just like nothing it just lets me see the video picture and then if i swipe over i go into head tracking mode head tracking mode will allow me to actually control the drone with my head so that's a pretty crazy feature i can actually Turn my head left and right to control your aircraft yaw, and then you know head tracking can be used simultaneously with the remote controls. A couple different video modes you can use: the live view video mode, the smooth one, or you have the 1080p one. The smooth one's going to be a little bit downgraded that way, the quality's not as high, and it just works better, less interference stuff like that when you're flying. If I put it in head tracking flight, I can control the gimbal up down to pitch 90 to 30 degrees, and then head tracking mode. I can control the gimbal as well, looking up and down with that 90 to 30 degree pitch, and I can switch this to control the gimbal up, down, forward, down, touching the touchpad quickly, adjusting the gimbal to face the forward perpendicular. So that's pretty cool. There's different features that you could get here with your finger. If you, if you use two fingers to swipe back, you can actually lock the trackpad. And there, so swiping forward will unlock the trackpad. So pretty cool. The quality is actually amazing. You have that 1080p right in there on your eyes, seeing that high quality footage and getting a look around just by using my head. So if I look straight down, I can see the ground here straight down so pretty cool feature and then if I look up I control the camera to look back up while I'm flying forward here when you first set them up you'll go to a tutorial that has different features and you can figure out kind of all the different settings and stuff so yeah the quality is really amazing there's not much of a lag I can kind of look around with the drone with my head and do all kinds of different things like that getting an idea and you know obviously looking down We'll control the gimbal to go down, and then looking up, we'll control the gimbal to go up. Really cool. I can see this being an awesome feature for someone flying with like Inspire 2. If you had someone controlling the camera, they could control the camera with just their head and uh, kind of really streamline that effect. The touchpad is a little awkward at first to get used to, but once you get it kind of figured out, you can figure it out. On the bottom of the goggles, there's actually the back button. So if you click the back button, it'll take you back to the previous menu or out of that menu that you're in. Also inside the goggles, you can actually change through the different smart modes. You can do the tap to fly, active track, terrain follow, tripod mode, and then fixed wing all inside of the actual goggles, clicking through there and changing that stuff. So you have all those kind of settings built in there and it's pretty cool that you could change all that right in the actual goggles. So a lot of different features inside the goggle very cool stuff if i change the portrait mode i can actually take landscape portrait mode photos right there inside the goggles loving the dji goggles a lot of things to learn still with the dji goggles i think there's a lot of features inside the actual goggles that i can really dial in and figure out over time been wearing it for a minute really have no fatigue it's a little hot out humid right now so i get a little bit of sweat built up there just from the goggles being on my head here in florida it's hot this morning it's almost 90 degrees if you guys have the mavic you control the mavic wirelessly with the goggles. If you use the Phantom 4 Pro, the Inspire 2, you're gonna to need to plug in your HDMI cable here on the side of the actual goggles. I'm gonna go ahead and fly around for a little bit longer here. Different shots here, wearing the goggles, see how they look later on. But really the quality is just amazing. It's like I'm really flying right now while I fly the Mavic around here and get some amazing shots. It's, it's like you're actually flying, it's pretty crazy. It's so, you'll be, amazed at how clear it is like watching pat do it versus me putting it on i was like oh my gosh it's insane all right guys so i'm gonna finish this up i'm gonna go ahead and spend some more time flying around here getting used to the goggles and getting oriented and being able to control my head here while controlling the camera if you have any questions 
As always, make sure you leave a comment below here on the Drone Nerds channel if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe to the Drone Nerds channel.